So what's going on guys, Mark here, and I'm gonna tell you something of myself, my wife holding the camera there, a uh, little baby in the back, and Harper are headed over to Orlando, the Eatonville Tesla pickup location. And I'll tell you right now, I'm super excited. They're probably less excited than I am, but my wife has a big smile on her face right now. She says that she doesn't want to drive the car, but I have a feeling that she actually probably will. Um, she's still shaking her head no. She's now got the truck and we're gonna head over there. We're gonna show the experience of how this pickup is. I checked with them, they said it's cool to record. So we've got our GoPros, we're gonna hook up the car and everything like that. Uh, I got the standard black on black with the 18 inch rims and uh, we're gonna Chrome delete it and do all that kind of fun stuff with it. So if you haven't already seen some of my other videos, I've started buying, buying the accessories purchasing those and then doing some unboxing and reviews because the, the Teslas when you buy them in the black on black the base model are stripped down so you know you got to get some little things like floor mats cup holder holders or cup holder uh, inserts and cup holder wedges there's these little things that you can buy that wedge the cups in there because there's just all kinds of different things that, that do that so I'm super excited you guys ready to head over there with us let's do it all right we're gonna go are you ready I'm ready let's do this you ready Harper that's a nod. Tell me you're ready. Yeah. And uh, on the way back home, Harper is gonna ride with me. She's gonna take her first ride in there. She's in her booster seat, so she'll be hopped in the back and um, we'll put uh, we'll put her back here and and uh, you're gonna take a ride home with me? All right, that's cool, so. Booster seat. Yeah, your booster seat. All right, we're gonna head over there. Let's go. Oh man, I'm, I'm actually a little bit nervous. I, uh, a couple reasons. What if I don't like the car? What if I don't like this Tesla Model 3 that I'm buying? What if I don't? I think I will and uh, I've got about 50 miles to drive at home and and unfortunately it's love bug season at the same time so I gotta I probably I don't know what I have to do but what if, yeah what if I don't like this car? What if it's just not for me? I think they give you a seven day return policy for a thousand miles but still uh, it's a pretty significant investment. It's a, a performance car and a luxury car. So, fifty thousand. Am I doing the right thing? Uh, not second guessing myself, but I'm just thinking to myself, what if I don't like the car? But we're about halfway there. Uh, we're on I-4 right now, which is uh, in between Daytona Beach and Orlando. Uh, I'm going to show you the whole experience here in just a few minutes. So when you guys watch this video and you're going through it, I'll uh, I'll put all the links in so that you can jump and fast forward in case you don't want to watch me talking. But, uh, but yes, we're about halfway there. I'm super excited. The traffic on the road is, is pretty heavy. Um, and I'm gonna try out autopilot. We're gonna try it out first thing. I did purchase it with autopilot, which is one of those things that I told myself, uh, am I gonna waste the $6,000 on it? Maybe, I don't know. Again, all these things are starting to come into my head right now when I'm actually heading there to, uh, to pick up this car. So, all right, we're gonna finish back up uh, as soon as I get there. You will be with us again. I'll see you in just a minute. All right, everybody, we're here. Um, we're getting ready to pull into the Tesla dealership. You guys can see, if you look outside here, there is all kinds of cars in the parking lot. Look at all these here. They have all of these ready uh, to go. A lot of them are getting detailed, and when they have your car ready for you, uh, they I believe they put it in the bay, and you drive it out of the bay or, or something along those lines. But look at all these Model 3s, Model S's, Model X, all kinds of Teslas out here. This, I don't know what I'm uh, to expect, but uh, we are literally going to find out, right? Get in here. Wow, I'm doing a really bad job at parking here, guys. Hopefully that'll change as soon as I get a, another vehicle here. We'll edit that out. All right, so we're in Eatonville right now. This is the Eatonville pickup location. This is where you come when you need to pick up your vehicle. Uh, I think we're ready to go. I'm going to get my wife squared away with um, uh, with her carrier here. She's going to carry the baby, and we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, you guys ready to get out and check this out? Let's do it. We got the tag and all the paperwork. So if you guys want to come in and follow along, we'll do that. Come on, Harper, let's go. Yay! After you, my lady. All right. Hey there. How's it going? I'm good. My name is Mark. I was going to come and pick up a car today, hopefully. I had a 10 o'clock appointment to okay. pick up. So Congratulations. Thank man. you That's so much. Awesome. Yeah, we're going to go. Me, uh, go ahead and get you checked in. I'll notify the delivery team that you're here. All right. We'll uh, do that, and we'll take a peek around again once more while we're in here. 
All right, sounds good. All right, so guys, check this out. We're in, uh, this is Orlando Eatonville Tesla right now. Uh, everybody here has been so super accommodating and sweet and nice. This is the Model S right here. This is a pretty car. If you haven't seen one, I just don't have it in my budget to get one of those, unfortunately. Maybe after this video goes, uh, you know, uh, we'll put it up there and we'll see how everything works there. But come over here. We're going to check out the car that I actually did get. Uh, we went ahead and went with the Model 3, as you guys can see. We went to black and black. This is the car right here. If you look inside of it, it is absolutely gorgeous inside. I just love the minimalistic of it. It makes it so much easier for us to be able to uh, come in and have a good driving experience. I don't have all these gauges and, and everything all over the place. And if you jump over here, the gull wings are up, or the T wings, if you will, the doors on the uh, SUV is up. Check this out. So look how gorgeous this one is here. Um, another one, just out of my price range and budget there, but my wife absolutely loves those doors. She's back there probably smiling. I wish I had those doors because it makes it so much easier to get in and out. Uh, especially when parking. I think uh, that really helps out like that. Isn't that awesome? Love it. And we went ahead, when we were doing it, we went ahead and did the black interior, but as you guys can see right here, this white interior is absolutely gorgeous. It's a, it's a pretty, pretty nice look to it. Now, when you're buying one of these Teslas, I've learned recently that you do need to find the appropriate charger for you. While there are supercharging locations available, as you guys can see on this map uh, that just flashed over, there is still a need to charge at home. So that's one of the things that's going to be good. Hey, how's it going? Here he is. He's coming up good. I'll pass that off to you there. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, as well. Uh, if you guys are ready, uh, I think we'll do a little we might bit be. of paperwork. Um, what will end up happening? Oh, here, I'll give you a couple things. Sweet. Um, I'm actually going to register that too. It's a good thing you brought that. Yeah, thank you. Um, do a little bit of paperwork with you. Yep. Um, then I'm going to hand you over to Dustin. He's going to go over hey, your Dustin. vehicle. Yeah, for sure. Um, and uh, kind of go from there. Sweet. It Sounds like good. Like you already have this. That was my first question. And then I see you have your. Uh, yeah. That's for. Um, it's like this is actually that's the application. So, so this is probably what. This we is the letter from our credit union, just letting you know that we uh -huh. did a, a get funding. We only have to do is we have to uh, write a check for the deposit that's on there. Um, it's in there. We have that. So you're going to do forty-four thousand? Uh, yes, that's going to be the total finance on there. Okay, so we're going to need probably the rest of that. I'm going to have to make some changes to paperwork. Then. Okay. Um, yeah, because that's all they. I mean, they they gave us more, but I said yeah, let's do forty-four because we're going to bring a check in and pay uh, the difference. Okay. And there is no one there on Sunday on the bank, so make sure you <laughs> if you do this, try to do this on a weekday just in case you need to make some changes of anything like that. But. At Tesla, they do let you do a cashier's check or personal check for uh, a down payment for it. Um, and that's what we're going to do today. So, all right, yeah, let me go ahead and I'm going to make these changes um, in the I, system. And yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, registered okay. because this is going to change a couple things of the paperwork. All right. Um, I'm going to take this, get it copied. What I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and leave you with Dustin now yeah. so you can take a look over the car and then we'll just finish up with paperwork at the end. All absolutely. Right? And just let me know what the uh, the difference is on that and then we'll be able to write the check on yeah, that for, to get so, it to 44. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll wait until it actually gets calculated with everything just to make sure. Yep. But um, I'll be right back. All right. all right, sounds good. I'll see you in just a minute. Yeah. Hey, Dustin. Hey. Nice to meet you. Mark, nice to meet you this too. is Lindsay over there holding the camera. She's doing that. So we'll, I guess we're going to do some checkout, check out the car yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, you check out the car. I'm going to teach you a couple of basic things. Okay. And then you guys can uh, go back and finish up the paperwork. All right. <clears throat> this is it. Awesome. Okay. So um, this is a good example of showing you what it's going to be like when you charge it. Yes. Um, basically, you're going to plug it in here, and there is a button on top. Right. So if you press the button, yes, it'll actually say, okay, now it's kind of like um, removing like a USB slot. Just right. It does kind of need to initialize. It also usually wants things to be unlocked. Like the car unlocked, I yeah, believe. Yeah. So it's unlocked because if it is locked, it's going to keep it in place. Yes. So once it's unlocked, you'll be able to take it away. Okay. That's pretty awesome. It's pretty wild. That thing went down by itself. If you guys didn't see that, I, do, I think all the models do that. But yeah, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, and Shuts you can actually place. open and close it from the uh, inside. Okay. Very good. Well. So this will be your space. And Some extra space in here. And just in case you guys don't know, Dustin, what he's doing, he's going around the car with me just to show me and familiarize it. Because it is a little bit different than most. But uh, yeah, got yeah. you a nice chromed out uh, cover there if you need one. All right. So cool. What do you think, Harper? Is that good? Yeah. I saw a toy Tesla car. You saw a toy it's Tesla car? Yeah, there is one over there. There is a toy Tesla car. I, I, we can look at it. We'll take a look at it when we get over there. 
This is made for some of the states that require a front license plate. Sure, yes. So this would get mounted to the front bumper, and then the plate would get mounted on there. Yeah. And then we got some screws, which... And this right here, he's opened up. This is the charger that comes with it. If you want a fast charger, you got to get uh, a little, pay a little bit more for it, but uh, that's it right there. So, good. So, you're basically going to have one end yeah. that will go right into a 110. Right. And you're basically plug it into the end here. Okay. And then there is um, another adapter which is a piece like this except the other piece would be a 240 sure so the like one prong sideways on it so mm -hmm. yep all right good so um i know our parts department does sell that i think right. it's like 35 dollars like yeah i don't know if we have that in our garage yet so we may have to just upgrade some electrical in there but this will work for now this is used for so there are a couple of different chargers around the u.s sure um i think this might be the one that there's a particular charge stations that are charge point the sure. company right so the gps knows where all the tesla ones are yeah but if you want to plug into a charge point i recommend going on their website because you actually have to set up an account yes and then um i don't think you have to have a physical card i think you can actually download something and have it on your on your phone right. but Give aside payment. from knowing the locations but the payment wise yep. so and then this would be an adapter all right so basically um the one end would go from the charger at, I think, charge point. Sure. Into Stick there. Stick it in there, and then this end would go into the car. That sounds perfect. And then you can purchase up to, I think it's two or three other uh, adapters that would go into the variety of different chargers across the US. I think there's like maybe four altogether. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, so, so yeah, that's great. You can get, there's EVGOs, there's all kinds of different charging locations. So the, the adapters that they make for these cars are, uh, will make it kind of universal. I wish there was a universal adapter, like a USB universal serial bus, but there's not. Everyone's different. Some pro proprietary there, so. And then, here we could close, and then, so yeah, so your charge is on the left side of the car by the driver's okay. spot. And then as far as the front goes, and I would imagine by now you might have an idea. Yeah, I do it backwards. I'm, I'm backwards for some reason, but no, yes. No, no, no. It depends on what hand you use. There's no wrong way of doing it. Sure. That way works uh, good. But uh, um, go ahead. If you happen to use your other hand, you can use your index finger. Get your fingers like that. Okay. Or even I'll put my thumb in. A couple of different options. And, yeah, there's yeah. no wrong way of doing it. Absolutely. Dun, That's the, the presentation. Key yes. card? All right. Yes. So I'm actually going to get you to, um, and you might be on your phone there, I got go one. on your app. Yep. Good, 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 good. So you technically got two keys. Okay. Um, I would recommend keeping this in your wallet. Yep. Because primarily you're going to use your phone as a virtual key. Sure. But in the case that maybe your phone doesn't have a charge or something like that, you'll always have a backup with right. this. Right, okay. So if you don't mind opening up your app. We've got the app open, opened up there. So we'll let them allow me notifications now because they probably, oh, look at that. Mobile access disabled to enable to contrary, allow mobile access in your car. So this is asking me to allow mobile yes. access in the car. So there is a part on the settings. So what he's doing now is he's just going into uh, controls, safety and security, allow mobile access in your car. And that's what we're gonna do now. We are only going over the basics. By Absolutely. all means, you're able to reach out to us. Sure. Um, there's a lot of YouTube videos that should have come with some of your um, congratulations uh, emails and stuff like that. Yeah, so I exactly. definitely recommend looking at the YouTube videos. Okay. And then you can always reach out to us. Absolutely, yes. So, um, okay, so. Let me see if I can refresh this and see if it works now. So this car is now, yeah, it's, it's, this car knows that my app and this are all synced up, so that's pretty good. We got it. It, it will. will. I mean, it, it is. It, you're right. You're right. Yes and no. So yeah. it is, and then to complete it, we're actually going to tell that, the phone so. to. Uh, so on the app the here, it says looks like I need to do phone key setup. Yes. Phone as a key. Okay. Uh, we're going to start on that one. And hold the key so card. So what it center. wants is just one of the key cards to be placed uh, right behind the cup holders and in, in front of the arm. So we'll set it in there and hold the key card. There it goes, finishing up. 
set up as a key card for a vehicle. That was pretty quick and easy. And we'll you only have to do it for the one because both of them are connected to okay. each other. So both of them work now, I got even you. though we only did the one. And you want to make sure you access your location because if you don't, then the car is not going to know where you're at in relationship to the car. So let them have all the information and access to where your location is. All right, there we go. We got that uh, cleaned up and good there. So basically, um, you know, you can lock and unlock the car and everything from your phone now. Okay. In the case that your phone didn't have a power and you needed to physically use this, you would basically just get the key and then you would just tap it right below the camera Sure. Uh, with all the doors closed mm -hmm. and then that will either lock the car or unlock the all car. All right, sounds good. Um, and then what it'll do is it'll usually do, I think it's, of course it's a 50-50 chance if I remember correctly, I think it's either two beeps to unlock it or one beep to lock it. Sure. But, and the thing is, is usually um, it's attached to your mirrors where they'll fold right. once it's locked. So it's a nice visual way of seeing it. Got set. it. So you get audible but, and visual. All right. Thank you so yeah, much for that. Yeah. No worries. And you'll be able to do things on the app. Definitely go on there and explore around. Not Absolutely. only will you be able to find a location of your car, you'll be able to precondition the vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, try and tell it a certain temperature to cool it down before you get in there. Absolutely. Uh, so yeah, definitely, definitely go around on that. And then I'm assuming, do you want me to take this or do you want I don't have any stay? floor mats now, so yeah, just leave it in there for now. I'm sure it's, oh, my feet are pretty clean, but we'll just do that until I get some floor mats because they don't come with floor mats, right? The, That's true. Does That's any true. of the Tesla Model 3s come with them or is there? They do. Uh, is this a, a This standard is standard range, plus? standard range Plus, yeah. Yeah, so that particular one does not. Yep. Um, but I think if you get the sell the floor mats separately apart, so okay. I do not recall what the price is. But yeah, I think I saw it on the app. They're like $90 or something like that for either the fronts or something, so that's pretty good. But let me hop on in. The, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So to be able to open up the back or the front, yes. you can either do the open there okay. or I'd like you to press the open right there. I mean, you can technically probably have done that from your phone as well. Absolutely. All right, so we're gonna check out. So this is, what's the official term for this here? Is this a frunk? Yeah, yeah, All right. front storage, uh, front trunk. Okay. Um, I know that uh, overseas they refer to these as like the, let's see, you got the, the boot in the back mm -hmm. and, the, and the bonnet. Boot and the bonnet. Yeah. Okay, all right, <laughs> that's pretty um, awesome. I know, right? <laughs> So what they'll say is, um, this isn't a term that's widely used, but I heard someone say it. So overseas, they'll call this the fruit, the front boot. Front boot. So fruit, boot, bonnet, frunk. We got all kinds of names for this one here. That's pretty good. Yeah, but we're in the States, so. So we'll be, we'll yeah. Just go with the, the front. Front, as the, the front. As the official word. All right, that sounds good. So we got it there. So you can use this for extra storage. Absolutely. You actually have these as hooks for your bag, um, so you don't have to have them flying around everywhere. Okay. This is a tow hitch, heaven forbid you need it. Sure. You basically take that off, that'll screw on there, and then this will help uh, secure it to the tow truck. I know on one of the screens you actually have to hit like a tow. Sure. Like it's being towed. Yeah, kind yeah. Of option. Okay. Um, otherwise, you would normally put on a flatbed. Yeah, it would make sense. Secure it. Correct. Yeah, you got a you got a whole battery system underneath there that just doesn't need to to be exposed to anything like I don't towing. I don't. Well, just not all that, that but, but also the wheels being locked. Like it's usually oh, the that's transmission, what it or this one doesn't have a transmission per se, but. It's basically the wheels being locked versus not, you know. Okay, that makes um, sense. So and yeah, then a, a typical vehicle, older, you could just pop it in neutral very easily. May oh, okay, yes. But here it's not not as easy. Not as easy. Um, All right, sounds good. And then the only thing you got to worry about is windshield wiper fluid. Okay, that's perfect. Every time you want to close the front hood, just kind of let it sit so it's not heavy to where you just kind of let it fall. You just gently put it down. Absolutely. And then once it's all the way down, just gently. Push down. Kind of like you point. should on all cars, but a lot of people just slam them. So that's good. Yeah. Very and good. And if you don't mind jumping in the driver's side, there's a couple of things left I'll show you. Okay. So if you you have a couple of profiles that are, you're able to save like seat settings and your steering wheel configurations. Um, basically, you would just maneuver the seat Where it's how you would want. Okay. Um, and then you can actually hit the profile. So create driver profile, it looks like, over there? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right, that sounds good. Um, now, the seat controls are pretty straightforward. Up, down, forward, backwards. This one's got your back part. And then the round part is your lumbar support. Okay. So think of it like an up, down, forward, backwards arrow. So pretty up simple. and down, I'll choose the position to where it is. And then if it goes towards the front of the car, that's coming out. 
And then if it goes towards the back of the car, it'll go in. Okay, I'm feeling it's it. It's pretty yeah. subtle, but you can. It's very. It's definitely there, though. Yep, I feel it. So you'll want to try and configure that with your profile as well. Absolutely. Um, your mirrors. So this is the only thing you're going to move manually. And then your mirrors and your steering wheel. Looks yes, like right you would highlight it and then. So basically, yes, exactly, Got it with there. the left knob, that's exactly right. Yeah, I see it moving there. So it's really nice and easy to control that there. Uh, the difference between our normal car and that is there's a dedicated switch usually on the handlebar uh, of where you exit the vehicle. But yeah, that looks pretty good. And, and then, then I'll do... what you can do is you can either tap it like you did to yep. change to the other mirror, or you can, if you push the whole circle in like a button, it'll go between the two. It goes back and forth, left and right. There's a good shortcut right there. That helps out. And then the steering wheel would be a similar situation. Oops. Oops. We it's are quick controls. Quick controls. Yeah. And then steering wheel. And then if you roll that up or down, and then left or right on this, we'll make it go in or out. In or out. Okay, great. Looks like it's pretty good there. We'll get this all configured and set up once we get in the car here and get ready uh, to drive off. But yes. So the turn signal is very straightforward. Um, if you go up or down just a little bit, it'll do three blinks and go off. Okay. But if you go all the way up past the point of resistance or all the way down, it'll stay on until you turn the wheel okay. and go the opposite direction. All right. And then you can, of course, high beam somebody by uh, making it go Pulling towards in. the steering wheel. And then um, your windshield wipers. Now, you can definitely have them on automatic. Yes. So if you hit the wiper and then... Let me press that one. Yes. A couple and different things. And then you things. can go to auto. And then that way, as soon as the water hits the windshield, it'll automatically adjust. And not only that, it'll adjust its speed, and then it'll, it'll react to the water. So the it, when it starts raining and sprinkling, it automatically comes on. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. Mm -hmm. And then you can, if you don't agree with the speed that it's trying to do, then you got a couple other choices. You make, make some changes on the... Well. And these are called on here, these are to COGS? Yeah, what are they stocks. Called? Um, stocks, stocks, I, that's what it is. I mean, I'm not, honestly, I'm not sure what term maybe Tesla uses specifically, but I would I would say a stock. Yeah, because if you don't use the right lingo, you're going to get in trouble on YouTube. You know how <laughs> that works. So. All right. And then the right side is changing your gears. Got it. So as long as the car either senses that you have the phone with you mm -hmm. in the car, or um, if, you, if your phone's dead and you're using the physical card, you actually need to tap it. It'll tell you when you try and put it in drive, like yes. putting your foot on the brake and then going all the way down. Yes. It'll kind of make a symbol saying you need to place one of the cards very briefly. You don't have to keep it there. You just tap it there okay. and it kind of wakes up the car all right. to where you know at that point you can put it in gear. Okay. Um, and you'll need to do that every time going from park to drive. Mm -hmm. um, Unless you have the phone, have the then phone. the phone, it just senses it, and, and, and you're and good to go. Okay. So basically, you know, your foot's on the brake, and you push it all the way down, and yep. it goes in the drive, make it go all the way up, it'll go into reverse, mm -hmm. and then the only way to get in the park is by actually physically pushing the end button. Okay, that sounds good. And it, it, it displays it up here anyway, so you can see visually where you're at, so oh, that's yes. nice. Yep. And that's where your speedometer will go once you start driving around. Okay. Now I'm going to jump in for two seconds. And we're going to see what software version we're on. We're on V9 2019 16.2 with 7.3 Delta, 3 Foxtrot, 3 Charlie. So that's that. We'll get the release notes later. He's going to show me some more information. Good. So, for example, if you ever want to know, like, what the mileage was, right? you can hit the T symbol. Okay. And there's a whopping four, four miles. Four miles. So it is official there. On the car. You can connect your phone. All right. Um, in fact, there your energy just kind of showing you where it's been um, if you want to try and see what you can do to maybe range <laughs> next time rear view camera even though it's going to come up automatically when you go into reverse a, re a regular calendar which will sync with your phone and then charging telling you and, you and you can set it there we say that on a daily basis it would be good to um, stay between 90 percent and 20 percent 90 percent and 20 percent okay on a daily basis uh, if you ever need that extra charge, by all means, do it. Like on a long-range trip? A, okay. It's just not a requirement if you end up going over, the car's going to blow up or anything like that, no. But to get the best longevity out of your battery, we do recommend staying between 90 and 20. Okay, that sounds good there. But yeah, uh, if you can tap. Yeah, you need to do that. So we're going to connect this phone up. So we got a plus. And then we're going to do add a new device. device. So what I need to do when I'm doing this is go into my Bluetooth probably. Uh, we're looking for Mark's iPhone here, and uh, once that picks up, I imagine 
Uh, it's going to show up either. There it is. I got another device down in the uh, here. So I will. Do you want me to press that now? Is that what you probably do? Or? Uh, let's see. Let's it's showing try. Mark's iPhone there. Yeah, let's try Mark's iPhone here. Thank you for the help on this. Got the little one back there screeching. He's having fun. All right, we got up here. 2707.65. It matches. We're going to allow contacts. Yeah, we'll allow that. Looks That's like it's connected thing. to Bluetooth. Yes, you'd be able to stream music as well. That's perfect. And one of the questions I would have is yours, because these phones, I have unlimited like Wi-Fi on here. I can connect this as a mobile hotspot, I think, to the uh, to the phone or to the uh, car rather. You can. Okay. You can. Yeah, yeah it's, it's technically on Wi-Fi here because you're the building. Right? Yep. Um, but if you press that Wi-Fi symbol, that's how you be able to. We'll search connect it up. And okay. Connect it to other Wi-Fi. All right. Um, areas. So that's all on. Um, Everything's good, so you are now technically connected. Got everything connected now, right, perfect. And so basically anything you were to do on your phone as far as music-wise, it would stream through to the car. Just your phone is successfully connected. Sweet, um, looks good. Just know that when you punch in anything, a destination on the GPS, it's going to uh, make sure that you get to your destination. These are all the charge stations that so it's aware of. And you basically just tap on navigate and where to go yeah and one thing i was going to ask when we signed up we used a referral code and um it was for like the 5,000 supercharger miles we swapped configurations i just want to confirm that that was on there and working once we uh once we get over we, there i think that would be a good we'll ask troy i'll ask troy all right that sounds good troy. so and just for uh, last thing to say, if you ever need hazard lights, it's a physical button. Yeah, and as you guys know, they minimalized everything, but uh, on most cars, it's on the dash. We don't have it on the dash, and being this hardwired in, in case the car uh, battery quits or anything of that nature, it's hardwired into here. So you'll push that, and you'll clearly hear and see. There we go. All right, we're going to get some more stuff, and I guess we're... Yeah, you're probably going to pretty much do the paperwork. Uh, doing the paperwork. I'm going to kind of say that... If you lift this up, there's two more USB ports down here. Okay. And you can take a USB cable and feed it in through here. And, and have then a... um, it'll basically make it pop out to where it'll be like a docking station. So there you go. You can lay your phone just right in there like that and uh, have it up in front of you. That's pretty cool. All right. And the way that these close is you just do it very lightly. Okay. If you do it anything more than lightly, it's going to constantly come back and you're going to think, okay, why is it not closing? Why is it not? Same thing with this one too. Okay. So if you just light, it just wants to be lightly touched. All right. Sounds and good. And then uh, if you ever want to get access to the glove box, basically it, yeah. quick controls. Yeah. And we have your current registration. Look at that. That's pretty awesome, guys. So All right. You say that's pretty much it. I'm going to hop out. We're going to hit this button right here to hop out. If you didn't know that, that's where it is. And it'll pop open for you. If you want to, uh, which is no wrong answer, uh, roll up the window or keep it down. I guess we can uh, roll it up. So the car is on. The air is running right now and everything is uh, active in the car. So we're going to hop out and hopefully get this paperwork done. And before we leave, we'll just make sure we'll go ahead and check over the car and make sure everything looks good on the uh, before we drive out of here, but that's it. I guess we'll go see Troy, it looks like. You probably would know with all your research anyway yep. that these hubcaps are designed to get you about 3% better range okay. if you keep them on. But they are hubcaps, yeah. and if you want, there is a very different style looking, pretty sharp looking wheel underneath it. Yeah, I so did see that. you could always uh, take them off if you want to. Yeah. Just know that they are designed for aerodynamics to get you better range. So yeah, definitely going on longer trips, we can probably bring that, uh, put those on or take them off, which mm, yeah, mm, that's pretty good. So, Go all right, we're gonna wait for Troy, and then we'll we'll pick him up in just a second. Yeah. Uh, this is the amount that's due. Uh, Three seven. All right, that's good right there. I need to. And it's really nice because when we did our configuration, we got matched pretty quickly on the basic standard model. I think it took like four days to get a VIN number, and then we were supposed to have delivery on the. Uh, June 4th, I think it was, and uh, they called on Friday and said, hey, can you come in on Sunday? So That is uh, very quick. Yeah, that is very quick because <laughs> everybody was saying months or three weeks or months, something like that. No, so. that, that's, that's awesome. Um, this is, you probably already saw this online. You yes. might have seen it given the Space Coast, but this is a, it's a three-page long document. This one doesn't even really count, though, okay. because it's, we don't even live in any of those areas. New York, Washington. Um, so it's really a two-page long document, just kind of going over the vehicle um, okay. building process, the delivery process, 
um, talks about agreement to arbitrate, um, but this just needs a signature on the very uh, last sheet. Okay. Um, you're actually going to be signing as the buyers. Okay. Uh, the person be signing right below is the She's co-buyer, the co-buyer. Yeah. Um, but it's just going to be from you at the top. Okay. And I know you may go over this. Um, mm-hmm. I was hearing about different things about warranties. The warranty is eight year and... The, for the uh, mo- uh, battery and motor, it's yep. eight year, um, 100,000 miles. Uh-huh. Well, it depends on your configuration. You got, um, yeah, so it's going to be 100,000 miles, eight years, but the standard bumper to bumper, that's going to be four years, 50,000. Okay. And is there, a, is there a separate one that's around 12,000 miles for any particular parts of the vehicle? Like, I think there was something about rattles or noises or anything like that. Uh, anything like that would be covered under your basics, so your 50,000 for your. Okay, so 50,000, and there's only two, because like Hyundai or some of these other cars, they have like an intermediate for electronics. and they Yeah, have, so, no, no, okay. just the two. Um, nothing for like rust or corrosion or anything like that. It's just all battery and motor is separate, and then uh-huh. everything else is the four year. All right, very good. All right, Lindsay, you need to come over here and sign up on this here. Let me get you. Squared away, that's yours. The boss late there, that's the sugar mama. That's why I'm getting this car, guys. Got the little dude crawling around, he's about to make a mess. Sorry, guys. But it's very accommodating here. Really nice, super awesome. This is power of attorney so we can process the registration paperwork on your behalf without you having to go down to the DMV. Okay. Um, so you're just gonna be signing right next to your name on the sign there. Good. Of course, Lindsay, you're gonna be signing next to your name, but yours is uh, about three lines below. There's your- so while we're doing the paperwork, you got the little one over there. She's just hanging out in the car. She already asked me if she can get one. I was like, she's five. She's going to grow out of that in like a week. I wonder if it's as fast as a Tesla, though. Just give a few more signatures from you. Yep. Lindsay's actually done. This is an Sweet. odometer statement. So this is just stating that there's 50 miles in the car, which there's not. There's less. You probably saw the yeah, yeah, odometer okay. there. Let's be a signature right there in the box. Okay. This one is an insurance affidavit, so this is just stating that you'll keep insurance on the vehicle as yep. long as you own in the state of Florida. So we signature do. there. Last one, this one's kind of weird. This one is stating that uh, there was no tampering with the air pollution control units, which uh, are all these parts, which your car does not have any of the parts. That's awesome. So uh, you don't have a catalytic converter or anything like that. But oh, so perfect. Signature right above your name. So we did not tamper with the parts that it does not have. I was, yeah, I'm trying to find a good exhaust for this one when I get home, <laughs> so we'll see. The last one we need is just a digital signature from you. Okay. Um, it's just stating that you're taking delivery of your vehicle, which is that VIN, on today's date. Okay. So signature right uh, there. Perfect. All right, that's yours. So that submits. That should be all good. All right, congratulations. Thank you so that much for your time. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. You know what? The, the great thing about this, and guys, if you guys are watching there at home, uh, the nice thing about this, you don't, even though they don't negotiate or do anything along those lines about buying a car, the experience here is so much better than you come into a dealership because one, you don't have someone that's hustling you in the parking lot. Two, he's not trying to give you a card and say, hey, refer someone. They got a nice, and that was the other thing I was gonna make sure of. They got a nice referral program that was previously 5,000 miles, now it's 1,000 miles. And I wanna make sure that was still attached to it because uh, we did a change in configuration there. Um, yeah. But uh, but yeah, I just wanna make sure that those miles were still active yeah, on it. Let me go uh, back and take a look. All right, I appreciate it. All right. All, right. All right, we're gonna go check out the car, just make sure everything's good there. I'm gonna inspect it, because when they do get transported, you wanna make sure that, um, that you check these over so that you don't uh, have an issue with uh, when you leave here about parts hanging off and falling. So we're going to go do a good detailed check of it. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Thank yeah. you so much. I guess uh, we just need to drive away, huh? Yeah, Is that yeah, all it is? We're here. We're done. We have possession of the car. We've got it. Uh, the pickup was great. There was a couple of issues with the paint. They documented them in the service file there. And uh, we are, we're ready to go. We got the car preconditioned. It's cooled down. It's ready to go. And I think we are too. Harper, you ready to go? Let me get some thumbs ups up there. Let me see it. Oh, yeah. She's got her booster seat in there, and we did put a little cloth down to protect it. First thing we got to do, we got to get this guy into, uh, we got to get it into gear, right? So we're in park right now. If you're unfamiliar with it, you know, I am. Uh, we're going to go down to drive. Cruise control and available. Continue driving. Calibration in progress. Going anywhere, so it's in hold. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just move forward just a little bit. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm super nervous. So we're going to go over here and see her for just a second. She's got, she's got the camera out. She's checking it out. Hey there, lady. Need a ride? No? All right, so we're going to head home. If you're ready to go, we're ready to go. You ready? Almost. Almost? All right, guys, we're going to get this going here. And uh, we're going to head out. Ready? Set? Go. Go. And the only thing we have to do now is we need to put in our navigation. We're going to put in our home address right here and... We got a couple superchargers in between here and there, one in Altamont Strings, one in Port Orange, which I'm familiar with. But now uh, we are going to uh, we're going to navigate. So 
Uh, but since we're going a short distance and we have 211 miles, I know we're going to be okay. So let's uh, let's head out. All right. Yes. I feel like the back windows are open because they're so clear. They are clear. So we can get those tinted if you want to. Is that what you want to do? So it's saying when I arrive home, I'll be at 64% battery, which is, um, you know, a little bit over half. So I'll have about 100 miles left on there. And what we'll do is we'll charge it and start charging as soon as we get in here. So navigation, I don't know how to get into it. Oh, there we go. You push that little button on the top right over there. That kind of shows you the waypoints and uh, it looks like a little zigzag. Now, one of the things that I did order immediately, I already having some trouble with this here, uh, putting the... Uh, charger in so what i did is i want to i ordered one of these pads in here and i'll put a link in the description for that it's a wireless charging pad uh, we will have that hooked up uh, as soon as it comes in i think it's estimated to be in in just about five days so if you guys do want one of these here and you want to get one uh feel free to check out the link in the description you get those supercharger free supercharger miles with this car here i got 5,000 from hugh so thank you hugh uh, and Natalie, if you guys don't know who Rising Tide Society is and that great group of people and HoneyBook, I'll put a link in there. I'm a photographer and I do work uh, as a photographer and they're one of my uh, friends in the network. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing, hitting that bell button. And if you want to get one of these, use the link in the description below and you get those free 1,000 supercharger miles. I'll see you guys again soon.